hello so it is like 10 a.m on a tuesday morning and i'm feeling unmotivated because it's a gloomy day and i thought since i need to get a lot of stuff done today to keep myself motivated i'm gonna do this quick get ready with me with y'all so i make sure i get it done and I'm just gonna do my everyday glowy makeup routine. It's super quick, it's my go-to when I just need to do a quick makeup. So I'm just doing this Breath of Fresh Air from Lush first. Just kinda gives me a little boost of like wake up energy. It's super like cloudy and rainy right now, so it's keeping me a little tired. Next, I'm going in with this Claire Beauty collagen stuff I got from TJ Maxx. I'm not really sure where else to get it, but it's been doing pretty well on my skin. I'm gonna do that as a light moisturizer. Okay, so while that's drying, I, for my everyday makeup, I don't use foundation. I can't remember the last time I used foundation. Like this Wet n Wild like brow gel and just comb my brows up. Okay, next I'm taking this, it's like the cheapest pencil eyeliner I could find at Ulta. I think it's the brand Essence, but I'm not too sure. But the color is But First Espresso. And I'm just going to do it super messy on um, both of my eyes. And then I just like stipple it right here because we're gonna just blend it in. It doesn't matter if it's messy. Actually, the messier the better. It's kind of the look I go for. It's like a super grungy, messy look, like effortless look because it pretty much is effortless. And then I take, oh, I'm gonna get one of these brushes. It's like a just fluffy-ish brush. And then you literally, like, I take sometimes some brown eyeshadow just to blend it or black, whichever, and just take it just so it'll blend it. And then just start working it in the shape that you want, whatever that may be. Then it should pretty much look a little bit like this or just play with the shape. You don't have to bring it up as much, whatever you want to do. This is honestly some of the best like pencil liner I've ever used to like blend out. Like it's so creamy. It's so easy to blend out. Like you don't even need eyeshadow to blend it out like you would like normally with other eyeshadows. It's literally one of my favorites and I think it was like $3 or less. Like you cannot beat that. That Essence brand is really cheap and it's at Ulta and that's definitely what my go-to because I'm a broke ass bitch. After this, all I do now is add this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk in my inner corners right here. And then you just blend it in with your finger because it warms it up. And it gives like such a nice little glow to your inner corner. So nice. And then to amplify the highlight in the inner corner even more, I'm taking the Spotlight Petite Highlight 6 Color Palette from BH Cosmetics. I got this online a long time ago, so it might still be there, I don't know. 
And I'm gonna take the shade Glow and pop it in my inner corner on top of that milk color. And you see how like this one's still highlighted, but it just like makes it pop just that much more. And this, uh, the BH Cosmetics, when I was buying it, I haven't looked in a while because I haven't needed anything because this palette has lasted me so long. But I'm pretty sure this was like $15 or less. So it's affordable stuff. I try not, I used to use expensive makeup, but now I'm trying to be minimal on that because I don't even use it that much. And then now I'm just taking my Great Lash Maybelline in Black is Black and then just gonna coat my lashes until I feel comfortable with how they look. So now I'm taking this MAC blush in the color Prism. It's a matte blush and it's one of my favorite shades. It's like this like mauve color. And I'm just gonna pop that on my cheeks. And then I'm gonna take that same highlight shade that we use in our inner corner and I'm gonna pop it on my cheeks and on the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. It's literally my favorite highlight. Like it, look at the difference. Like look at that natural looking glow compared to when I have nothing on. Like it just makes my skin look so healthy and just like ethereal. This is literally like the perfect go-to look. Like, like when I'm not like slowed down talking about it, it takes me like 10 minutes in the morning. It is forever gonna be my go-to. The natural glow that this highlight gives me is just one of the reasons why I just don't wear foundation. I pop this on even when I don't have like a crazy eye makeup look going on, even though this isn't crazy. Like even when I have mascara on and just this highlight, it's, it's, it's enough. <laughs> Can't not speak. Now I am just taking a just felt eyeliner and darkening my little freckle right here to add a little something something going on sometimes I do it sometimes I don't whatever and then I just like tap it so it's not like as black a little bit more blended in I can't wait to sit more out in the Sun my natural freckles will come back more in okay so literally the last step to this look is the lips so I'm taking this NYX lip liner in the shade brown cafe it is 821 and then I'm gonna mix that with this MAC lipstick that my mom got me like a few Christmases ago and it's like literally become one of my favorite. I'm almost out of it at this point. Um, it's Nude Du Jour, Du Jour, I don't know, I'll put it on the screen. Damn, I need to trim my bangs. But yeah, so that is my go-to everyday makeup look. It usually takes me about 10 minutes. Um, I definitely recommend you try this if you're into like the messy, grungy look. So let's go build some bundles. I'll show you some creative like behind the scenes of that now. Okay, so here is my current situation. A mess. So I have a thrift haul to show y'all after I do a little bit of bundle searching. Um, so yeah, some of this is listed already. A lot of this is just for bundles and just shit I need to organize. Okay, so I'm gonna prop you up while I search for this girl's bundle. Okay, so let me show you what I have written down in my notes. This was a large size bundle 
and she is a size small on the tops and bottoms and she told me that her only color dislike was purple and her style is more on like the y2k 90s harajuku vibe and also i girl bella and then she said she likes to keep it y2k but doesn't have a set style so it gives me some room to play with i'm definitely going to keep it on the y2k like uh flashy and Harajuku vibe. The only items that she said that she didn't need or doesn't like is sweats. She doesn't need any sweats. Um, and her dream items was, uh, she said she was looking for some Ed Hardy t-shirts and other Ed Hardy stuff and then Y2K baby tees. And then while I'm searching, I'll put up on the screen some of the pictures that she sent me that her inspirations were going off of. And then I will also put up her Depop likes and some more of her Pinterest pictures. I know I have the perfect bag. It's actually Ed Hardy. Yes. So this is a personal, but I don't wear it as much as I need to to be able to justify keeping it. Please look at this. It's like under the shoulder, but it's literally so big. It'll fit so much stuff. Like it fits so much stuff in this bag. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna throw this in as one of the accessories I'm giving her. It's perfect condition. And then there's the little Ed Hardy, and then it says Ed Hardy stitched right there. It's in very good condition. There's like studs on the pockets. This is giving very much, oh, and there's double zip, and you can like, ugh. and then there's rhinestones in the heart. Like, stop it, this is perfect. It's giving very much Jersey Shore bimbo, and I absolutely love it. I know she's gonna love that vibe. Okay, so this box has a lot of stuff from my childhood that I just wanted to highlight in this because why not? I'm already going through it. So I saved this from when I was a kid. It's an early 2000s No Boundaries piece and it says, holy cow, with this cute little graph of a, of a cow on it. I'm tempted to keep this because it's just, you know, kind of sentimental because it was mine as a kid. <clears throat> and it's also very cute and my size, so why not? Also thinking about keeping this, this was for my childhood. I specifically remember getting this at Spencer's with my mother because this is the only character from Family Guy she actually likes. She hated that show. But um, yeah, it has Brian on it. it. says, do you listen to yourself when you talk? And yeah, the brand of this one is Ripple Junction. Classic 2000s brand. This is from 2004 too. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to keep that. Pink's not my color, but those two are amazing. This skirt is from my childhood. I don't think there's a tag in it. There's no tag in it. So mad it doesn't fit me. I love this skirt. Like all the, like, all the distressing on the hems. So cute. Probably gonna save this for bundles. Might list it, but probably save it for bundles. And then these pants were mine as a kid too. I remember wearing that ever loving shit out of these. And can you blame me? Look at that belt that came with it. And then it's got this zipper detailing, these pockets. I had these for $30 on my rack at a pop-up. No one bought them. They're a smaller size, but there were so many small bitches at my booth. I'm like, why would you not want these? This was also like last summer. I haven't done a pop-up since like last summer. So trends have changed, but come on. I was so stylish back in the day. My mom bought me the best clothes, I swear. And then <clears throat> that's the back of these. These are a size, that's a, ugh, I can't even read the tag. I don't even know the tag. Oh, this tag is like falling apart. You can tell I wore the crap out of these, but I can get you measurements. 
But are these not so sick? Here is a little SpongeBob shirt that wasn't mine when I was a kid, but I thrifted a while ago that I've just had. And then I thrifted this like, it's like either from the 70s or 80s. And it says nine out of 10 men who've tried camels prefer women. It's just one of those funny like foil iron-on graphics. Super cute. And then I have this Harajuku girl, Gwen Stefani top. How cute is that? This one was from my childhood. It says, here comes trouble. And then it says on the back, there goes trouble with Tigger. And then it's just a cute little baby tee with like uh, contrast stitching on the sleeves. So cute. Let's see, what else can we highlight? Oh, I had this was mine when I was a kid, this SpongeBob shirt. Tie-dye. The graphic is still in such good condition. I remember wearing this a lot. I guess I just took really good care of my clothes, or I didn't, my mom did. I vividly remember wearing this a lot as a kid. I loved this shirt growing up. Can you blame me? Look how cute that is. Little butterfly with the stripes. And this is from Rave Girl. Let me know that in the comments if your mall had a rave and a rave girl. So the rave was like the teenage grown up version of Rave Girl. This was like limited to, but cooler. And then this is another t-shirt that was from my childhood. It's by the brand LEI. And I'm considering putting this in her bundle because it's a baby tee style and it just is very Y2K with like the contrast stitch. The tiger is giving very much just Ed Hardy vibes with the number and then like the split stitch and everything is just very trendy now too. So I'm thinking about giving her that if it fits her measurements. And then this little like jersey dress was also from my childhood. It says Sweet Three and it's by the brand Big Flirt. I had so many clothes from that brand. Comment down below if you remember that brand. And yeah, so it says it's a size medium, but you know, you never know, it might be smaller. So I'm going to check and see if that fits her measurements since she's a small, because this gives me very much just like Harajuku Fruits Magazine vibes. Okay, so for what I have on me at the moment, I've laid out some options for her. So now I just have to do a process of elimination based on her measurements and what I think would fit best with the vibe of the pictures I can see. I also am trying to find these True Religion jeans that I have in her exact size. I'm pretty sure that I know that I'm pretty sure I didn't sell. So trying to find those. But this gives me very much Ed Hardy vibes like she was looking for. And so does this one. Please look at this shirt. And then it's a baby tee style, super stretchy, raw hem. And then the back, yes. So I'm pretty sure I'm definitely gonna give her this shirt. So I'm gonna go through and see what else fits her measurements. And then I'll probably go thrifting tomorrow and take you with me on that too. Also, I'm gonna measure these because there's no size on these but these Y2K candies that are basically brand new. Look at those bottoms. It just looks like obviously someone like tried them on maybe, but they've never been worn outside. But they're solid. I did like the stress test on them and everything. I tried to bend them. They don't seem like they're about to crumble. The leather isn't cracking or anything. Both of the buckles work. Everything's good on these. So yeah, I asked her how she felt about a platform sandal for summer and she said that she's down that I always nail the bundles so she trusts me so I think I might be giving her these unless I just find some other type of platform Y2K shoe that I feel like fits her vibe better. Okay so it's the next morning and I did find those true religions I was talking about and it says they're tagged a 27 which is what she said her pants size were so let me just go ahead and check the measurements so it does look like these will fit her nicely low waisted based on her measurements and they do have a little bit of stretch i just wanted to show you the details the true religion logo with the turquoise and then like contrast stitching with the orange and then of course the classic true religion pockets and I think that will go, those will go so good with these shoes. These are not flared. They're more of like a straight leg with a raw hem at the bottom. But I think that's super cute. And then those baby tees, yes. All right, also here is my quick 
outfit for today to go look for bundle stuff and go to the post office. I have this spanky mesh shirt on with my gel bracelets and my ring and then my stag necklaces and then my famous cargo pants and my Osiris's. So let's go to the thrift store. Okay, so I got all my stuff to go to the post office and then I wanted to show you. This is what I'm starting to take with me. I have a little notebook with like the bundle stuff that I have written down, like the needs, the measurements, the dislikes, all that kind of stuff. Just so I can like keep track of what I do already have for them and what I don't have and like the stuff I need to go get. And then I just have like their Pinterest pictures already up on my phone. So it's pretty, it's getting better. Let's just take a moment for this spanky top. I got it for $30 on Depop, such a steal. And then I like how you can see my um, camo sports bra sticking out love that i'm thinking about getting ed hardy seat covers and a steering wheel cover because it's kind of cracking right here and also on my front two seats there's like a crack starting to happen so i'm thinking about getting the same type of ed hardy seat covers i had in high school let me know down below if i should do that or not i also need to invest in a vlogging camera because my phone's fine for now but i just want a nice camera and i also need to get like a Thing to prop this up right here while I'm driving to talk to y'all. So we might do that today too. So I didn't vlog in the thrift store because I just got in the zone, you know how it is. So I will show you a thrift haul of that stuff um, while we're building the bundle. But right now I'm just doing some journaling and reading my book. This is like a game changer if you haven't read this. Get you a copy or you can get it on an audiobook and just listen to it as a podcast. I honestly need to do that so while I'm cleaning I can just listen to it as well. And have no excuse for not listening or reading it. <clears throat> so I just took some Instapix of this look and I'll pop them up right here. Also, I'm pretty much bored with um, how I look, like hair wise. I'm getting a haircut next week. I want to do my roots and then I'm tempted on doing this right here. I'm gonna put a picture up of the color I wanna do next. So comment down below if you think I should do that. But I'm pretty set on doing it. I think I'm gonna do it more towards summer and let my hair like have a break after I do my roots because they just need to be done very, very badly before it becomes a color correction. So I think I'm gonna do that. But I'm gonna get my hairstylist to put like um, semi-permanent brown on. So just in case I don't end up like loving it, I can easily change it back to blonde. Okay, so I got a thrift haul for us. So I went to a local small thrift store in my area and a Salvation Army and the first I got a few belts. So the first one is this really cool corset stitched Harley Davidson belt. And then the belt buckle has like these black rhinestone details on it. It's a really nice quality belt too. I'm about to pop this belt as an accessory in one of the bundles as well. I found this brand new, it looks like, cause it's still got the plastic on this little doodad right here. It's a little mint green mesh bag to take to like the farmer's market and the grocery store and put my fruits in it instead of having like plastic bags and all that kind of stuff. And it's just cute and trendy. Super cute for a beach bag as well. Just going to the park or doing whatever. I've been want I've actually been wanting one of these and then I saw this one and I was like, $4, no problem. Cause they're probably way more expensive online. So, and always good to do stuff secondhand when you can. Um, the next ones I'm gonna show you are the other belts. So I got this really awesome grommet belt. The belt buckle is in like, it's such good hardware. It's such a nice sturdy belt and it's a size large. Just a black grommet belt. And then this one is amazing. It's this little plaid detail Volcom buckle belt and it has a um, bottle opener on this side. So cute, if it doesn't fit me, I will sell it or put it in bundles. This one's cool despite the fact that it is Forever 21. It's this like mesh jersey style little shawl. Here, I'll put it on, it's a 79 on the back. And it's like floor length. And then it says LA on the patch. I just thought this would be a really good layering moment 
for spring and summer, like to do a bathing suit with or just any type of look. So decided to grab that for a few dollars. And yeah, it's like really long. This I grabbed in the kids section for myself. It's just this like, I think it's an adult cause it says size small and it's big enough to fit me. So I'm not thinking it's a kid small, but <clears throat> this super cute Alaskan uh, Husky puppy t-shirt. I just thought it'd be a cute baby tee. These jeans are super cool. They have like this stitching on the front and the back down the middle. And then on the bottom, it has this pocket on the side. So cool. This brown cargo skort. It has shorts up underneath it. These olive green cargo shorts I got for myself. They're gonna be an awesome staple for summer. These jean short shorts I got for myself as well. They're super stretchy and comfortable. It's hard for me to find a good pair of shorts that fit me in all the right places without riding up my butt. So yeah, these are absolutely perfect and super stretchy and comfortable. Can't wait to wear these all summer as well. And then the last clothing item I found was this little top and it was actually half off. Super cute little like cottagecore croquette moment. And it was a dollar half off, she said. So it was 50 cents, amazing. It just has a little black mark on it somewhere but I can easily get that off. Here are the close up details, super cute and dainty. Necklaces, let me show you those right quick before I get into the bundle. So the first thing that drew me over to the necklace area, cause I could tell they didn't have many, but then I saw this and I was like, let me check again. This Jonas Brothers little guitar pick shaped pendant necklace. It doesn't say when it's from, but amazing. Can't go wrong with that. I had to grab it. And it's just on a silver chain. The next one is this, it just, it's very random, but I was just like, it just goes with like how fashion is. It's very like random gaudy Y2K. It says love and cursive with a British flag and a shamrock on it. You know, represent. It's a little British flag heart, super cute. And then this is either a Z or an N, whatever you want it to be. Love it. They're only a couple dollars, so I might as well have grabbed it. Cute to style. Perfect for bundle accessories. Okay, so after a long day of working and doing bundles and other shit, I thought we had a little cooking session together. Okay, so for the first thing, we have a margarita pizza. And then I'm also gonna be making some fettuccine alfredo. I've got this basil alfredo right here. And then since we don't have any meat thawed out, I'm gonna be doing onions and mushrooms in it. So I'm gonna saute up onions and mushrooms in that pan and then also saute up a little bit of broccoli. But the rest of this uh, raw broccoli is gonna go into a salad along with like these green onions and the radishes. And this Mediterranean herb feta is absolutely amazing. And then in the bakery of Ingalls, I got this um, garlic herb bread and it literally has like whole cloves of garlic in it. I don't know if you can see that, but that is like a whole clove of garlic. So yummy, we've been eating on it for about three days now. And then I've been recently buying just like half heads of cabbage because sometimes I just don't eat it all and I hate being wasteful. And I'm so glad that I have that option at Ingalls. I haven't really seen that anywhere else. So I don't know if they do that at all the Ingalls or if they do that at your local grocery store, but that's a good way to save money, number one, and uh, waste less food. Sorry if you can hear, you know, Robbie drumming in the background. He's de-stressing after work on the drums. And I'm also gonna put an English cucumber in the salad and then red onion and a tomato and then also this kale. And then I'm gonna squeeze some fresh lemon juice on top of that. And then I'm gonna show you how I make my really yummy dressing.
always eat your broccoli stems. It has so much flavor. Always like peel it off like I did and then chop these up and then saute them, eat them raw, whatever. They have a lot of flavor. Don't waste these. It's time my wheels, gonna need me some space. So take a head start, I'll find me a way. If you get nervous, don't be afraid. Just follow the road, you get to your place. And I'll be there. Oh, you. And I'll be there. Oh, you. I don't know how people keep shit so aesthetic. Please look at my mess. Like, when people are cooking and there's no mess, I'm like, how? That ain't me. This boy just dreams me. I hope there's more to the eye. The things that I just say. I just want something. So for her first look here, I have this amazing Ed Hardy vibe style baby tee. It's a little bit of fuzz on it from the carpets. But um, yeah, so it's this really stretchy, I'm not sure what brand this is, LA Culture, but it's super stretchy V-neck, um, like graphic with rhinestones all over. It's missing some, but it's still a vibe. Like I'm sure she won't care especially when you see the back. Like the front is amazing, but the back is even better. And it has two sleeve hits on each side. Like, come on. This is gives me such Ed Hardy vibes. And she was asking for Ed Hardy and baby tees. So what could be better than this? Let me turn it around for you. And then here's the back of that shirt. I mean, come on, how could I not give this to her? And then there's rhinestones on this as well. Like even though it's missing a few, this thing is still so blinged out. I know she'll love this. And then speaking of Ed Hardy, come on. I have the, I gave her that amazing bag that was mine, but I just never wear. And it's like basically brand new. The inside looks brand new. There's a heart with rhinestones, just like on the shirt. And then there's these like pyramid studded details on the side. And um, I think these are working pockets too. And then it's a double zip and it has the logo. And then this also has a back to it and it's embroidered. It's just such a nice material. Yeah, these are working pockets you can see right here. And of course it has the logo on the inside as well. Uh, this is such a great bag and this look, it just goes so good. For the bottoms, I gave her these amazing Made in USA True Religion jeans. They're straight legs and they have like these uh, the orange contrast stitching and then like the turquoise little hardware on it. The back pockets are the classic 
True Religion logo and it has the turquoise on it as well. And then, you know, the big logo, of course. And then for another accessory, I'm giving her this Harley Davidson belt that I just thrifted. I think I showed you in a thrift haul. Um, and it has like this corset detail. And then it's got this gorgeous rhinestone belt buckle that'll go with all the rhinestone details on that. And it also is one of those ones that you can remove and put your own on it. So if she gets even more like Y2K belt buckles, she could pop it on there and keep the belt for such a long time. And then even though these are straight legs, I think they'll be super cute because they come to this like raw denim hem down here. I'm not sure if they came like that or if someone just cut them previously, but I really like that. And I think it'll go well with the shoes with this look because there's some like neutral color, like that orangey yellow that goes super well with this. And it's broken up just enough on the bottom that I think that these shoes are gonna look so cute with that look and the second look. This little fitted baby tee was giving me Ed Hardy vibes as well, mixed with like Harley Davidson and stuff like that. And this was more of her just like Y2K bimbo Ed Hardy vibe. And this is the more Harajuku Fruits Magazine vibe mixed with that vibe still. So I gave her this amazing shirt. It's super cute and fitted and has a motorcycle with all these skulls on it and an eagle. And then it ties in perfectly with this turquoise skirt that has brown detailing in it. Super cute pleated micro mini skirt. What is the brand? Let's see. The brand is Lipstick. I love the buttons and the plaid and all that. It gives me such Fruits Magazine vibes. And then I paired it over these pair of jeans, which were actually mine when I was a kid. I saved them. They're like in really good condition. And they have like these little rhinestone grommet details. It's not a grommet, it's like a little button, but it has a rhinestone instead of being a button. And then it has a zip little flare right here. You can either have it unzipped or zipped. And that's on both of the legs. And I think that is gonna look so cute with that skirt paired over it. But even without the skirt too, these are amazing. The brand are squeeze jeans. And then, you know, if she just wanted to mix and match the tops with either of the bottoms, she could also wear this skirt with that look as well. Without the belt or that would look really cute together as well. And then in the back of the jeans, this is so cute, squeeze girls. And it has like a little rhinestone on there as well. And then for some extra accessories, I have this amazing little rubber bracelet. This is I heart your boyfriend. So cute. And then I found this little heart charm that reminds me of the 2000s Tiffany necklace and bracelet that everybody had to have back in the day. Super cute. Just pop those on with either one of the looks. And then another little fun extra I'm throwing in. You saw, I told you in the beginning that this was mine when I was a kid. And I only remember wearing it like one time and then it just sat in my closet. So it's basically brand new. And then the brand is Big Flirt. I absolutely freaking love that logo. Like I wanna put that type of little lip and flame type thing like on a baby tee or something. And then it has the branding down there with a the number three and it says sweet. And it's just, you know, like a Jersey style dress, basketball dress. This gives me very like Harajuku Fruits Magazine vibes. And then I also thought that pairing the dress with the bag over the flare jeans as well were like a whole vibe. And I think the sandals would go really cute with that as well because there's still that color from the bag with it. And if she wanted to, she could also pair the baby tee up underneath that for some sleeves or even the brown tee. That would be so cute with it popping out or just wear it without a shirt up underneath it. I love the dress over pants and skirt over pants vibe, but I saw a lot of that in her likes. So that's why I've given her these options to do that with. She can do both of those, wear all of it by themselves, like the skirt with the shirt and the skirt with the brown shirt without the pants up underneath it would all look so cute together. See like that skirt and that shirt and that shirt goes together. It's just all very cohesive and interchangeable and she can have so much fun playing around with it. So that is her bundle. Let me know what you think in the comments of it. I absolutely love it. So I thought before I pack this up completely, I thought I would do what Bella does now in her videos and tells you the retail price of what it would actually be like if you bought it on her Depop individually. So I'm gonna add it up right quick and I'll probably pop it on the screen because I'll have to sit down and add it up. 
but this is the retail price of this total bundle if they were to like purchase it individually each piece on my depop so you can see how much of a deal you're actually getting for these pieces and also a pair of shoes that is basically in brand new condition a long time since I wrote the right rhymes and you flexing my ties. We've been through this five times while you flexing on somebody that don't give a fuck.